Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel in this video I'll show you how to use gesture detector and inkwell in your flutter application I received a couple of requests asking how to do oh, how to make my image clickable or if I click on the text how to ensure that it routes to a particular link or when I click on the icons it takes to a particular social media pages or um, if I click on the next button how do I make those buttons clickable so I received a lot of requests related to clicks tap or on press so that's the reason I thought I'll come up with a video series and to do all this we use gesture detector or inkwell definitely there are a couple of other ways also but this is one such way to do it so if you look at this um, UI um, I have this UI running on my emulator um, I have created created this UI in one of my position widget video I'll leave a link in the description where I've described the entire UI implementation but in this video I'm not going to concentrate on the UI I'm going to show you how to make all of these clickable say for example I have made the image the text the link the icon and the buttons clickable here so first I'll demonstrate this and then I'll show you the implementation part so to for the demonstration purpose I've made things really simple and definitely add your own implementations in it so first when I click on the image it's gonna change the image from circle to a square or for example when I click on this location uh, it has to suggest me whether do I want to open it with a Google Maps or with a browser so when I click on this you can see that it gives me an option of maps or browser there you go so that's one of the possibility and uh, here I have this profile as my favorite so when I click on this icon it's gonna give us transparent favorite icon with the number decrease so this is clicking on the icon and when I click on this link it has to route to a browser page with this particular link since I don't want to use this link I've used just the flutter IO link in the back end so when I click on this you can see the browser page opening with the flutter IO and um, let's see if the page opens yeah there you go it opens and uh, regarding the icons say for example if I click on the Twitter it just routes to my Twitter page so you can see that also so let's see if it routes to the Twitter application there you go it routes to the Twitter page and uh, if I click on my buttons here it has to take to a next profile so let's see if it does that so when I click on next I get a different profile so this is how um, I've done this demo page where I've implemented I've made most of my components um, clickable and I'm going to show you how to do this so let me clear the template and I'll show you every component that's clickable here and its implementation all right so as mentioned earlier I'm not going to concentrate on the UI you can find the UI implementation uh, in my position widget video I'll leave a link in the description so first let's concentrate on this image now this image I've used a container so inside my container I have uh, used uh, the box decoration and uh, made the shape as circle and then given it a image inside it now since my image is inside a container to recognize this gesture of this custom view we're gonna use gesture detector so now how we will use it I'm gonna show you here so first what we do is we add child and then we say gesture detector there you go so with my gesture detector first let close this braces okay so inside my gesture detector there is a factor called on tap definitely there are a lot of other factors also like double tap long press so you definitely feel free to try all of them depending on your use case so my use case just needs a on tap so that it changes the profile shape image shape from circle to um, square so what I've done is I've already declared this as a shape with the box shape circle as my and then I've added a method called change shape which is on set state changes the shape from circle to rectangle 
So all I do is I say on tap and then I'll just call that particular function which is change shape. So the implementation is absolutely your choice but since for the demo purpose I'm just keeping it simple. So when I click on on tap this function is called and it changes the shape. So anything say for example you have a small card with an image and a text and you want to make this entire container clickable how do you do it just surround the container with guest and then give an on tap function and then give the particular action that you want to perform on this container so this is how you use this is how you make your containers clickable so when you do that and when you build it uh, it looks like it's built successfully and when i tap on the image it turns to a square image so this is how you add your clickable or on tap on your containers now let's move on to the uh, text now the text could be a link it could be a read more link or just a normal text and you want to make it clickable how do you do it so first thing uh, i have used a library which is called the ur url launcher library that helps you to open a particular browser and i'll also add a description about this particular plugin it's a very simple and straightforward plugin where you just need to add few lines of code and you are good to go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what i've added to it so the section that i'm talking about is london all right to add or to make your text clickable this is the location that i have that is my text to make it clickable i'm going to use inkwell now how do we do it is all you have to type is inkwell okay all you have to do is type inkwell and then make sure there is a child factor and that's attached to your text and let's see let's close this let's balance the brackets so that we avoid errors okay this is closed so now this entire child container or child text clickable so for that inside your inkwell you have a property called on tap so this also has a lot of other things like double tap so you can use it depending on your use case so on tap what i'm going to do is i already have a method declared which is called open map i'm going to show you how to do that also in a second so i'm going to use that method now this method is nothing but it just uses um, the latitude and longitude of that location and just opens it but i'll show you how to do it as well so since it's a function let's end up with a semicolon so let's go to open map so this is where uh, I'm using this um, plugin, which is called the URL Launcher. All I do is just use the Google Maps and I've added the latitude and longitude. For the demo purpose, I've used just the static data. And this one is just tells that launch the URL or um, if there is some error just to catch the exception here. So it's a very simple plugin, very straightforward. All you have to do is just add the link that you want. Uh, to be opened in the browser when you click on the text so let's build this okay there you go so i'm going to click on london and then it prompts me with either i want to open this using the google maps or the browser so this is how you use events on your text with the help of inkwell so this is how you make your text clickable all right so making your icons clickable so there are a couple of ways so either you can use icon button uh, since I wanted a circular border around these icons, I had enclosed my icons inside a material widget. So whenever you're using material widget, I can use inkwell. Same like the uh, text. So I've enclosed my entire material inside inkwell and then I've given on tap a particular method that opens the GitHub URL. Similarly for Twitter now i had to mention you one thing with this particular plugin which is the url launcher um, the rest of the um, my social icons opens on the browser but for twitter if you have a twitter application installed on your phone it opens with a twitter app
so that's one advantage of using this plugin but the rest uh, it opens as a web browser even if you have a um, application installed so just wanted to inform you that and um, yeah so similar way I uh, have used um, the Twitter um, I'll show you the Twitter part okay so similarly all my icons were enclosed in material so I used an inkwell and a particular um, function so when I use that all I have to do is mention the URL and that particular profile name so since I wanted to open my own profile I had to give my Twitter name so you can definitely use a profile name as I suggested here in the LinkedIn URL or github URL or the Facebook URL so this is how you can make your icons clickable now moving on to my um, favorite icon so I'm going to show you how to make a uh, make the icon clickable and increase the count and decrease the count make it unfavorite or favorite so let me show you how to do that so i think it's called favorite widget yeah i just added a name called favorite widget i made it a stateful widget and then what i did was i added um, a count and then i added a particular toggle function which says it's favorite or not favorite depending on um, you're clicking just increment it by one and decrement it by one I've used icon button I've used it as on pressed so when on pressed it uses this function toggle favorite so it's not I'm not making the container clickable I'm making the icon button clickable so for that reason I've used on pressed so whenever you're using icon buttons or um, if you're using your back button or search these all are icon buttons so for that you can use on pressed so this way you can make your um, icon clickable then moving on to the last part which is the next button um, I'll show you how the next button looks okay there you go so for the next one what I did was I used it as a raised button so if you're using a raised button or if you're using a icon button you can use on pressed and after this I've used the navigator material page route so that it routes to my another screen which is the profile screen which has a another profile so this way you can make your next button clickable by using on pressed factor so in this video we have seen how to make an image clickable text clickable um, we've used this third-party plugin which is called URL launcher to open these links in a separate browser and we've also seen how to make an icon clickable and make this favorite increment a value or decrement a value and we have also seen how to make the next clickable so that if you click on the next it takes you to another profile and similar way when I click on the um, back button it takes back to my previous profile so this is how you use gesture detector and inkwell in your flutter application hope you enjoyed this video if you do like it please give it a like and do subscribe and if you find this informative please do share it thank you